So, uh, I'm Jeremy Dirksen, Snow Zone Editor of View Weekly, and I'm here with Matt Decor, the Recreation Director for Winterlight. And we're in behind Snow Valley in the White Mud Nature Creek Preserve, uh, testing out a few different activities today. Um, and Matt, the first thing I wanted to ask you is, uh, how does recreation tie into Winterlight? What are you trying to achieve with the, with the activities you're bringing together? The uh, whole idea is to get um, Edmonton active living out side recreating in winter. Uh, a lot of people come from out of Edmonton, out of country, out of province and and so we want to give them ideas of things that they can do and the White Mud uh, Park Nature Preserve is a great place to come hiking or walking or running. Excellent. Okay, you you mentioned Baba Yaga Trail Adventure and I wanted to just maybe see if you could summarize for us a little bit about that. So what's the story behind Baba Yaga? Uh, it's, Baba Yaga is a European fable um, about a uh, beautiful young girl whose father remarries and she has to live with two evil stepsisters and in the story they put the fire out in the cabin so they send uh, the beautiful Vasilisa into the deep dark forest to uh, get the way we've we've positioned it is that they get light winter light from the witch Baba Yaga. Okay so you're bringing light and activity to uh, Edmontonians uh, now, you've got some interesting activities planned for this weekend. Can you kind of go into a little detail about uh, what the activities are and why bringing mountain culture to Edmonton is important? You know, the uh, alternative aspects to winter recreation that, that you don't uh, usually see. Um, and we're doing it right down here at Snow Valley. So we'll have a big air freestyle snowboard and ski demonstration going off. And uh, it's a great... Um, thing to do on Friday and Saturday night, January 22nd and 23rd for all ages, whether you're you're four or you're 40, come on down and check it out. Anyway, so, so this is how you repel. This is called the figure eight repel. You connect it to, to your harness with this case, uh, this belay mast and locking carabiner. And the way the repel works, the rope gets fed through here. My right hand in this particular case is my brake hand. If I put my weight in on here, I control my descent with my right hand. My left hand is really meaningless. Usually I just have it here to manage a safety if I have a safety. If I pull down on my right hand, I stop. That cinches in here produces friction and that slows me down. If I let go with my right hand or open up a little bit, that allows me to descend. As soon as I pull back here, the friction in here will stop me. And that works even on overhanging and a free hanging repel. It's the same thing. Okay? It's a good idea to wear gloves for that. Today we'll be wearing gloves anyway. Okay? When you want to go, you just control yourself with your right hand.
compressed air cylinder and a recocking lever trigger for shooting it and it's got it's not like like a regular biathlon rifle and it's, it's not going to fire because I didn't bring any pellets today because we don't have a safety fence to set up. Uh -huh. okay. um, but it, it just it just shoots like a normal rifle. The, the tone change. Okay, so we're standing in Rainbow Valley Campground now, and you can hear the biathlon uh, demo going on in the background. Um, we just had a fun day of rappelling and, uh, well, a little bit of skiing and uh, biathlon, and um, I was just talking about how this all connects to Winterlight and bringing people out in Edmonton. Um, so, what, I mean, what should families and, and what should people know about coming out to Winterlight events? What's the purpose of really getting them out? Well, um, we want to extend to sort of the newcomers to Edmonton community, um, you know, introduce them to getting out in wintertime and how you do it. In fact, we have a share the warmth program. So if you don't know how to even dress for winter, we have donated clothes or if uh, some people come down who have clothes sitting around, winter clothes, snow pants, gloves, mitts, toques, that sort of thing that they're not using, come and donate them. I mean, I, I'm guessing the average Edmontonian lifter all their life might not have tried some of this stuff out either. Well, and that's, that's the funny thing is that um, there's quite a few people who have never even been to the Rocky Mountains and yet they're on our doorstep. We have a, a World Heritage Site three hours away in Jasper and, and Banff and, and uh, Lake Louise and all our great national parks in the Rocky Mountains. This is a great introduction to how you, you can um, uh, move towards trying that for yourself. All right.